Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. We've all seen a symphony playing music. At the front of every orchestra is a conductor with his waving arms and strange faces. These odd motions cue all the instruments in the symphony so that they're both timed and aligned with the right level of intensity. The whole thing might look like an act, but in the end, it's able to produce some amazing music. Well, turning data into information needs a conductor as well. In the past, most data ingestion was done as part of a scheduled batch job overnight. But the cloud has changed all that because we can no longer assume that our systems will be living adjacent to each other in the data center. So less bulky movements of data are typically utilized, like live streaming, which avoids intermittent spikes. However, streaming data live introduces downstream challenges when it comes to reading data. For example, if we're conforming that data, we have to ensure that we are capturing all the relevant data sources to tell the story accurately. This might mean that we need to set triggers for downstream commands that await all the elements to arrive. Additionally, the onboarding of data may have a few hops depending on how our solution is architected. Another option that the cloud gives us is the ability to dial the capacity of our compute allocation. Databases like Snowflake let us wake up the compute capacity, then shut it down on demand, while only billing us for what was used. These motions we take to load and process data and even allocate compute is what we call data orchestration. Deploying a data orchestration framework is part of every cloud data management strategy. Some platforms have much of this capability built into their solution. Others integrate with existing vendor solutions. And some are open source projects which can handle many of the overarching orchestration tasks. With nearly every solution, there is some underlying requirement to choose a vendor for managing the data replication and streaming. I have a video that talks about this called cloud data streaming. In a nutshell, this is a pump that keeps data streaming from your source databases into the cloud data management platform. Once the data is replicated into the target cloud platform, this is where the bulk of data orchestration takes place. See, the cost savings of the cloud is in using microservices to make things happen. These are services that come into existence for their specific use, but turn off when they're not needed. Orchestrating these services in onboarding, provisioning compute, and transforming data all at the right times is sort of like the symphony conductor cueing instruments to play and cutting them off when their refrain is done. Now, there's several ways to plan out these orchestration frameworks. One such way is the typical strategic architecture planning engagement where Intricity comes on site and whiteboards the execution plan. Another way of doing this is by engaging with Intricity in a co-development relationship. In this method, Intricity joins your development team on a regular cadence, typically two hours every other day. And we do this over a Zoom session, which we record for you. Each approach has its upsides. If you'd like to read more about these two approaches, click on the links in the video description. And if you would like a further explanation of how they work, you can reach out to Intricity to talk with a specialist.